Time for us to take a look at some of our Alaska news for this Monday morning. It is September 18th, 2017, and we see that troopers are investigating the death of a woman while moose hunting. They haven't said yet whether they believe it was accidental or intentional. The Fairbanks murderer suspect has been arrested after actually a couple of false alarms. It happened on Thursday and Friday. Oh, he's over here. No, he's over there. And then they found out, oh, he's staying at a transient camp, and so they started searching the transient camps around town on Friday morning, and that's where they found Mr. Beasley. He's accused of stabbing the fellow at the house there on 17th Avenue multiple times in the heart and torso and arms. And Anyway, he's now in custody, charged with murder. A suspect has also been charged in that Aurora Paint Company homicide that happened last week. They believe that the man was shot in the head on last Sunday, the 10th, and his body wasn't discovered until Monday, the 11th, when one of his workers came in and, and found him there dead behind the counter. Then they were looking for the stolen car, the owner's car, which when they found it, the person who was driving it tried to flee. They chased him down. Originally just picked him up as a person of interest in the disappearance. Now they've charged him with murder. The dome is inching closer to reopening. The repairs are getting underway. They actually were literally inching the roof upwards. It looks like a lot of repairs to be made on the dome, which, by the way, collapsed under the weight of the snow this last winter. Something which some people have said, hey, look, you're going to have an inflatable canvas dome. You better have a way to keep it clear snow, right? Anyway, Irma Lee Hickel has passed away. She was 92. Then she was the former first lady under Governor Wally Hickel, who's Many people see as responsible for the PFD. And by the way, speaking of PFD, without Panfair, the Walker administration has announced that the permanent fund dividend will be $1,100 this year. That's what the legislature decided it was going to be instead of using the formula, which would have put it at, at least double that if they had used the formula that they, that they have always used until they realized that they needed the money more than the rest of us did. A man up on the Polaris building roof on Thursday morning. You may have heard about this. It caused a bit of uh, commotion. Somebody saw this guy up there on the, the roof, called the police. Police came. They went up with a fire truck. They put the ladder all the way up. It was still about six to eight feet short at the top of the building. So then they put an extension ladder. And that last bit climbed up onto the roof, called out to the fellow. He didn't answer. And they found him lying in the in the leaves there in the building. They're like, hey. Say, oh, dang. Anyway, they took him down off the top. He's been charged with criminal trespass and uh, misdemeanor or something or whatever. But basically, as you may know, the building has been condemned because of the mold inside. It's not safe. They would not go back down through the building. That's apparently how he got up onto the roof in the first place. Instead, they went back down the ladder. More news we don't have time for, including the extension of the Nilchina Caribou Herd. The crime bill being added to the fourth special session or the earthquake that hit in southeast Alaska over the weekend. You want to learn about those? Become a subscriber at RadioFreeSpeech.com.